Hey guys, let's talk about God's love. Got a minute? We're going to spend some time talking about God's love and really digging into it because some people find it um, elementary, but really what it is is foundational. And anyone that knows anything about building something knows that a building is only as strong as its foundation. Skyscrapers in cities, they drill down into the earth and go deep down in order to get a very solid foundation in order to build a building that is that tall. In fact, sometimes whenever a building needs to be bigger, they have to take it all the way down to the foundation, redo the foundation in order for it to be stable enough to be able to hold new things. And so as Christians, as we want to reach to the the things that are farther out there and we want to go to places that we've never seen before and all this stuff, then we need to actually spend more time focusing on our foundation, which is God's love. So I want to take a profound look at this scripture in Romans. You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. We were powerless. We were still sinners. There wasn't any hope in our life. And then God shows his love by Christ dying for us. God the Father sent his Son for you, not because you could do anything for him, not because you fit into some kind of perfect scheme that he has in the long run. It's because he saw you and said, I love you and I want to have you. I will give anything for you. Rarely will a person die for a righteous person, very few for a good person, and he died for the unrighteous and the not good the us because he loved us that much he didn't want us to be stuck in the place that we were in and he wanted us to have hope and he wanted to deliver us from the things that we've caught ourselves up in and scripture says there that we were powerless once again we couldn't do anything and you still can't outside of him you cannot do anything to bridge a gap You can't do anything to make yourself better. It's all through him. And that's why Paul says he considers his life Christ, because he has to live in submission to to Christ and to submission to God in order to be able to reach closer to him. It's only through Christ that we can actually change. Because just like he was motivated by love, what changes us is whenever that love gets inside us and motivates us to love him back. And that love changes us. So if no one's told you lately, God loves you more than anything. He would give anything to be with you. Not be with the perfect you, but to be with you right now. Are you opening the door to let him in? Thanks for taking a minute.